This is going to be over the digestive system, covering from the mouth to the top of the esophagus and everything in the mouth. So the mouth can also be called the buccal cavity, and then as you move right inside, the vestibule, just like the nasal vestibule, at the top of the mouth, you have the hard palate, and as you move back up the, on the roof of the mouth, it turns into the soft palate, and then the little thing that hangs down is called the uvula. The tongue is a big organ in the mouth, made of skeletal muscle. Its job is when you chew, to take in that food, and as you chew it up, turn it into a food ball, and then that food ball is called a bolus, and when the bolus moves to the back of the mouth, the tongue's job it initiates swallowing. The tongue has three features that we need to know about. First is filiform, they're the white part of the tongue. They're scratchy, they don't have any taste receptors, they're just for friction, and cats have a lot of them, and they just help move around that bolus and get it into the right position. Fungiform are red bumps, and they are very numerous as you go back in the tongue, and they do contain red bump, or they do contain taste buds. And then this V thing is called the circumvallate, and it's just a V-shaped row, v -shaped row in the back, and they do have taste buds on the tongue. Next, I want to talk about the salivary glands. There are three of them, the parotid, submandibular, and the sublingual gland. There's two types of saliva that are produced. The parotid and submandibular gland produce serous saliva, which is more watery. And then the sublingual gland produces more mucousy saliva. So when your mouth is really sticky, that's coming from your sublingual gland. The parotid gland has a duct that releases saliva kind of around your second molar. And then the submandibular gland releases it right at the bottom of your lingual frimulum. And so what a frimulum is, is just a little, uh, kind of, it looks like a wire, and it's a little stringy thing on the bottom of your tongue that kind of, that holds your tongue down to the roof of your mouth. You also have two frimulum on your mouth right here, and they just hold your lips to the gums. Then, um, what's in saliva? So saliva is majority made of water, but it also does have enzymes and electrolytes. It has two very important or enzymes that start the digestive process in the mouth. It has amylase and lingual lipase. And amylase is going to break down carbs, while lingual lipase is going to break down fats. Uh, one extra thing I wanted to say was on lingual lipase, it doesn't activate in the mouth. It actually becomes active in a low pH environment, which is in the stomach. So that enzyme is not active until it gets down in the stomach. And then out of all these words, gingiva, it looks like a big cereal word, just a really, it just means gums. That's it. Just a big scientific word for gums. So gingiva, gums, hard palate, once again, top of the roof of your mouth, tongue, big skeletal muscle thing, parotid gland, releases serous saliva, that's watery saliva, soft palate, top of the mouth, the back, uvula, the little thing that hangs down, lingual frenulum, little thing that holds your tongue to the gums, submandibular gland, once again a serous gland. So.